And we're in the festive spirit today with Kelly Downs. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm so excited to be here. It's always a fun time to have you here. You always bring all the, this fun stuff. I try. I try to be creative all the time and bring it into all the little things I do. So we're about to hit Christmas. A lot of people are going to be cooped up at home. What do we have here? These are things, so I had a mom that made Christmas just beautiful. She just made oh. everything gorgeous. And so I always look forward to the morning of, all the fun times that you have watching movies with your family and everything like that. So I thought of some fun things that you can do with the kids, for the kids, and then just to add that little extra special wow to your Christmas table. Oh, how special. Okay, okay. So, so what's going on? We have a variation on the um, hot chocolate bomb. So a lot of the times you have to get those molds and they're hard to find yeah. and kids can't really use them. So if instead we use little Dixie cups, you can get these super cheap at the store. What we'll do is you're going to put some chocolate in a double broiler, which means you put some water on a, in a pan on the okay. bottom. You put another pan on top and pour your chocolate chips on top. Mm. Once it gets nice and loose, you're going to take that chocolate, that tempered chocolate, and just start to pour it into these cups. Mm. And you can just kind of move that around a little bit and then put it in the freezer. Once it starts to freeze, you're going to take that out. And we're going to take a little bit more of that tempered chocolate and we're going to stick a candy cane in there. <laughs> See what happened there? So it's just going to stick in there. That's really fun. Oh, cool. And this is a nice little handle because when we start to peel this away, you'll see that it has this nice mold shape. So you can cut down the side of your Dixie cup and just start to peel that away. Oh, oh look my at gosh, that. So fun. And then once we have that, then we can put our hot chocolate and our marshmallows in there. And then you just take this whole thing and drop it in the cup. The little candy cane sticks oh. on the side. It's so fun. So that's a really fun take on the, on the hot chocolate bomb. And when you're watching Home Alone for the 373rd time, it's a really good thing for the <laughs> kids. Um, another fun thing. So my son is addicted to pretzels, and yeah. I'm not ashamed to admit that. I am too. I'm with them. Are you? Yeah. Good. Okay, so we have these straight pretzels, and then we have these really fun ones that I got from Aldi that have all these really cute shapes. Oh, so what cool. I did was we made some little Christmas trees out of this, but what you basically do is just like a piping bag when you're doing decorating for okay. any cake, you're going to make a simple buttercream, which is just uh, 16 ounces of powdered sugar, a half a stick of butter, about a tablespoon of vanilla, and then a little bit of milk. And then you just mix that up. And then I got these uh, no artificial dyes from Natural Health. Like, I don't like using, you know, gross okay. dyes or anything. So I got some of those. And I tinted that color to make this really nice green. And then you can just pipe that over your pretzel sticks and get these adorable Christmas tree shapes. Those can go right <laughs> Hold on, in I got to hold this up. Oh my gosh, can it's I? crazy. Of course you can. Oh, let's see if we can get it without can knocking anything it? over. Can we get it? Yep. Oh, look at that. Uh, look at that. And then once you, once you do that, then you can put sprinkles all over it. The kids can decorate. You can put different candies. So that's super fun. But you can also do it with these little ones where if the, if the kids want shapes to outline. So you can do red ones for your stockings and candy canes. So that's super fun. Okay, my biggest question about all of this, what do we have here? This, I know this is the last one here, but what is this? Okay, so um, this is a take on, my mom used to do this. She used to do a shrimp tree, which is like super 70s, and I love it so much because yeah. I was always fascinated by it. But I've seen nowadays they're doing charcuterie trees. Ooh. And so I thought of doing a take on just like a breakfast table charcuterie tree, but with some fresh fruit so that when the kids come down and they're sitting around the table, they just have this really lovely tree. So ah. I took some um, escarole, uh, cut it at the tops, and just used simple toothpicks to just kind of in the round, you just kind of turn it and keep doing that. Yeah. And the fruit looks like little ornaments, and then people oh. can just pull that off and have a little something to eat. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to go through this with us. Oh, I love it. It's a pleasure. It's so fun. I love being here. Thanks for having thank me. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.